Hello, welcome to another iRacing video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a spec map really quickly and easily. Um, so we're going to take our car from this to this. Um, I'm going to try and show you as quickly and easy as I can. Uh, I see a lot of videos online, they're really quite long and they drag on. and It's really not that hard uh, and I'm going to try and make it as easy to understand and quick as I can. So, all we need to do is tell the game which parts are glossy, which parts are rough, and there's a really easy way to do that. Right, first thing first, we need to make a selection of all the bits of the car we want to be glossy or metallic. So, control shift, make a selection of all the pieces of the car you want to be glossy. So, all the parts of my livery here I've got selected. So you can turn all this off now, we don't need any of this. Come up to your spec map. Uh, this is what you'll get by default, is all this crap. And you don't need all this. I tend to delete all these layers so you can delete this one if you want parts to look like they do you can keep it but for this tutorial I'm going to delete it. I, I typically don't bother so with my selection still there make a new layer in the metallics and just paste it black like that it might look weird because the groups have uh, settings on them but it doesn't matter right so control click that layer again control shift I to invert the selection new layer paste right so as you see here we have one layer that has the parts we want to be shiny and one layer with the bits we don't so I'm going to call this one glossy and this one uh, matte so this is this is the bits I want to be glossy this is the bits I want to be matte so all I need to do in the metallics folder is double click this go to color overlay choose the color make sure you're on this B value and this percentage is what percentage do you want this part to be metallic? Well, I want it to be 100% metallic, so I'll put OK, 100, done. So move on to the next one, double click this, we'll go to color overlay. So now it's now same question, how metallic do we want this part to be? Well, we don't want it to be metallic, that's our matte, matte part of the car. So we'll bring this down to, let's say we want to be 20% metallic, pretty low. Okay, cool. That's the metallic part done. Select both these layers, duplicate them down into the roughness. So now we've got a similar question. This is our glossy layer, so this is with the, the bits we want to be glossy. Back into the color editor. Different question, how rough, how much roughness do we want in this part here? Well none, but it's at 100%. So bring this down to, bring it down to 10%. We want it to be 10% rough, because that's our shiny bit. You go to the matte section, how much of our matte section do we want to be rough? Well, we want quite a lot of roughness here, so we could you know, bump it up to like 80%. Okay, cool. And that's it. That's us telling the game that we want the glossy layer to be very metallic in the metallics folder. And in the roughness folder, we've told it we don't want it to be very rough. And that's, you know, it's as simple as that. So to save that, all you do, Control shift s it's a target file. Go to the folder where your paint is. So this would be your paint. And you're going to label, name the file like this. So you just add spec underscore in between car underscore and your iris number. Save that. Right, back into the game. Test. Control R to refresh the paint. Hit escape. There we go. So that is how you can make a spec map in under five minutes. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful. Um, there's lots of settings in there you can play with. You can sort of make things uh, metallic, but not like a mirror. They can just be kind of shiny and you can make other things um, matted, but with a little bit of reflectivity. Like there is quite a lot of depth in there. Um, so play with it. It's quite, it's quite easy. You can play, you can change things up really easily with that method. Um, and I hope you helped it. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.